you say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Did you just wake up? Yeah. yeah. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. 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 Henry was the first one up. He's in the rocking chair or the tablet. I don't know. I don't know. I think he got up just uh, before 6.30. That's my tablet. I got the yeah. tablet. Yeah, it's your tablet. And uh, then I got up shortly and then this little guy got up. Right? So happy Friday. Are you hungry yet? No. No? Okay. They do it's still Halloween. early. Tomorrow is actually Halloween. Oh, tomorrow. You get candy? You don't want all the candy, right? Yeah, um, you're gonna give mommy all the Reese's? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Reese's are my favorite. <laughs> what is Reese's? Reese's pieces. Like Reese's cups. Uh. Yeah. Is it, is it too early? Not awake yet? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I want you guys know. <laughs> All right, we are going to slowly wake up, and I have to push the <laughs> power button on the coffee maker and get you guys ready for school. <laughs> what What's today? Halloween. That's uh, tomorrow. Today's Friday. Halloween. <laughs> so here's Henry's uh, show and tell. He's all ready. Hockey. We were talking about Halloween. All right, let's open up the door. Yeah, his costume is in his bag, just like you. Hey, you got a party. Yeah, you got a party. Okay, I love you. Have a great day. You have fun. Ooh, a little chilly today. Oh, there's a squirrel. <laughs> Going up. Mama, yeah. There he goes. No, no, I think you put your costume on probably after lunch. Okay? Because it's just for part of the day. That one bugs you? Okay, let me see. Okay. Left one. Okay. Oh, the tag. Okay, well then I'm gonna have to cut out the tag. That of the tag bugs you. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. Not bug me. Okay. You know what? I think I grabbed a small. I, Cause this looks like a small instead of a medium. I think I grabbed a small. A mistake. So maybe the medium on the medium the tag doesn't bug you, but on the small it does because it's small, maybe a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna see if I can replace those ones. <laughs> oh boy, always something. <laughs> yeah. All right. You have a great day. I love you. I'll see you after school. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Lift off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell it's Friday? <laughs> and they're off to school. Happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> Yay, finally made it to the weekend. It's Friday. And the boys are excited. They have a fun day at school. Um, so welcome back to my channel, Coffee with Stephanie. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I'll be happy to have you. And uh, welcome you to my YouTube family. So I always start the day off with coffee, of course. So if you have any morning morning cup of coffee or tea, enjoy. Uh, I have my turtle mug, but he has a little chip right there. And I know that's what happens when you wash dishes by hand, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'll just drink it from the side. Oh, it's one of my favorite mugs because I got it last year when we were in Toronto. And I got it at the aquarium, which is so awesome um, to see, you know, sharks swim right above you. And it's just so neat. So that, that was our first time going last year. So 
And of course, you know, the gift shop, I feel like saying don't go in there because it's a trap because it is, right? Because it's at the very edge. It's, you know, here's, you know, the end of the aquarium and then you have your gift shop and oh, look it, there's the exit. You got, but you got to go through the gift shop, you know? Yeah, <laughs> we spent some good money there. <laughs> I'm just on souvenirs, yeah. Uh, I think that's where your money goes when you travel. Souvenirs. Yeah. Souvenirs and food. Yeah. <laughs> we want to go to Toronto this year because that's where my um, brother-in-law and his family live. So we like to go visit them. And we went. Um, let me see. When did we go? Yeah, it was last year. Yeah. I think our first family trip was about three years ago. And we went to Toronto and we took the boys. And it was our first first trip to Toronto. First family trip. First road trip. Everything. It was like the first first time the boys went to the zoo. The first time they went to um, a J game, which was awesome. Um, I've been to quite a few J games. I've been like... My first J game was when I was, I think I turned 14, uh, we crossed the border, and that was before you needed a passport, you just needed a birth certificate, it was easy to cross over, and we took, I think, the shuttle, and we went over, and we saw, and I remember, um, I still remember, <laughs> like it was yesterday, seeing Roberto Alomar, who is still my top favorite player of all time, and seeing his little cute little tushy, second base, you know, and seeing um, Joe Carter um, one time, I think, then um, following, I would say probably two, three years later, my mom and dad and myself went to Toronto, and we saw a game, and we were down like where the third baseline is, and seeing Joe Carter and his huge muscles, it's like, whoo, TV don't do them justice back then. No, they were 10 times the size. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, and I think, um, oh, and I, went, and I went to one on my 30th birthday. Um, that's when Arilla and I were engaged. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, we were engaged. Uh, I turned, yeah, I turned 30. Um, I think we just got engaged, like, um, it was, like, probably, like, we got engaged the past November, so, like, you know, it was, like, just the past, the, it was the past, you know, few months, it was just, like, we were, we, okay, we were recently engaged, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> it's just not coming out of my mouth right, um, yeah, and we went there and visited his, you know, brother and his wife before we had kids before we were married you know and it was fun it was yeah it, it was like one of those trips where you really treasure and it was just fun and you really enjoyed ourselves and we went to see the game the sky dome was open and um the CN tower was like um because it was nighttime it was lit up in pretty lights you know it was it was wonderful and Yep, and then we went, we took the boys for the first time. I think it was three years ago. And they lasted five innings, okay? And then they fell asleep. <laughs> but but they lasted five five innings, and that was good. And I saw all my, uh, I saw Josh Johnson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, before he got traded. Um, I still love him, though. He is, mm, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was that uh, because I was like on my bucket list, you know. I have to see him, be I have to see him play before he gets traded, you know. And and it was just oh, they lost that time. They got their butts whooped, unfortunately. But it was still a fun experience because the boys got to see a blue jiggy and they got to experience it, and it was so fun and. And then it's like, for me seeing Josh, it's like, yeah, because inside of my head, he's my boyfriend, right? <laughs> you might not know that, but yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes, it was a pretty view. I'll, like, I'll put it that way. It was a pretty view. Yeah. <laughs> I was in seventh heaven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just can't see him play because now it's like a whole new team. And really, I don't know who's who. I know some of them, but... Um, I haven't really been watching because of everything going on and I forget what's on TV. So, and then, um, last year we went to Toronto, Henry, it just, you know, cause when we go to Toronto, we're there for like the weekend, we're there for, um, 
two and a half days, you know, and that there's a lot to do in Toronto. I love going to Toronto. Um, it's not easy on the budget because like I said, the, like the attractions and the, um, souvenirs, I think take the majority of your money. <laughs> That's where your money goes. Um, you know, but it's just, it's just fun. There's so much to do there. And last year we went to Legoland, you know, it's not anything compared to what Florida has because there's a, there's a Legoland in Florida. Um, but you know, it was, it was still something. The boys loved it. And we were like, you know, like we cause like sometimes we know what we're doing, but sometimes when you go visit, sometimes it's unplanned and we were going to see a game, I think, but it was just, it just, we ran out of time, you know, uh, I think the time for us to go see a game was when we went to Legoland and to see, but we were just too tired. So, and then Henry really, really, really want, wanted to go. And I was like, okay, well, we'll go next year, not knowing what 2020 had in store for us. And that, that's where the aquarium is right by the stadium. So of course we walk by and he's like, oh, I want to see a J game, you know, it's like, oh, okay, just, you know, break my heart a little bit more, you know, I, I wish I could. You know, uh, but they weren't even there. Okay, so it was a Monday. A Monday morning, I went to the aquarium. I was like, oh, no, they're not there. They're, you know, on a plane or they're in the next city. You know, so, but yeah, I wish you could. So next year, hopefully, if everything goes well, we can go. I'm going to go see AJ again because he really wants to go. Like, yes, so do I. <laughs> There's nothing like it. You know, I love baseball and the Sky Dome. It's just, I don't know, you get that special feeling. It's, it's like you you feel like you're home you know that's what it feels like you feel like you're home when you go to the sky dome i don't know this is something about a baseball field yeah i love it yeah so hopefully next year because 2020 just stink stink and stunk <laughs> we'll put it in the words of the grinch yeah <laughs> mm. anyway so hopefully next year but yeah this, this is where my mug came from but now it has a chip so but i'm still going to drink out of it yes until it's completely broken or leaking <laughs> yeah still drinkable <laughs> yeah so the boys are off to school and as you heard me say they have their costumes um today is loony license day so they have this a few times in the school year and it's usually around um, halloween and like maybe christmas you know and they may do it one more time in the spring before school is out so it's loony license and you get five to pick from five different um, options and they each cost a dollar so for henry he his was wear a costume wear black and orange wear crazy socks crazy hair and number five was teacher's choice and for henry teacher's choice was all about me the show and share a bag which he has um, so he picked that and um, wear a costume. So they'll probably wear the costume after lunch. I'm assuming probably like around two o'clock, right before school is out. Now for Casey, it's just pretty much the same same thing, except for his teacher's choice is a Halloween movie and treats from the teacher. So that is kind of nice because this year, with everything being so different, you know how. Um, kids in the younger grades, you know, some parents will pass out little goodie bags from, you know, like, uh, pencils, erasers, stickers from Dollarama. Well, this year it's not allowed, and I kind of figured it would, wouldn't be allowed. Because that's what it says right here, no candy or gift bags are to be shared. So, yeah. Which kind of sucks, so, but it's kind of nice his teacher is going to give him something. So that's kind of nice. So that's what's going on at their school today. So they're going to have a very fun day today. Yeah, I used to love those days at school. I always looked forward to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you knew you weren't going to be doing much work. <laughs> yep. So you get your work done in the morning and in the afternoon. It was party time. <laughs> <All right. laughs> mm hmm. So that's what they're doing today. And yeah, uh, oh, and I have to go no frills. I have my list. Um, we're going to have to make a trip to Walmart. We need a new vacuum. I was vacuuming the rug last night and I was halfway done. And I couldn't wait till I was finished, but it just stopped. And then it wouldn't work. And then, you know, what really helps for it to work is if the cord is attached. The cord came off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I was like, all right, that's my new vacuum. But see, I hate a dirty rug. I hate it. I've always hated it. And I think it's because growing up, we had a red shaggy rug, rug um, in a living room. Okay, before my mom and dad got rid of it and um, put like, you know, the hardwood, not like the real hardwood, hardwood, but the, I think the laminate stuff. Okay, it was like a shaggy, a shaggy carpet and it's maybe that's why I don't really like carpet and I don't like shaggy carpet because you saw every stinking piece of dirt, every... Everything like from, you know, food crumbs to like maybe hair, pet hair, you know, human hair, you know, everything. Dust bug, dust, mi dust mites or, you know, dust um, bunnies, you know, um, you saw everything. It was like look looking underneath a telescope and I hated it, you know, and that's why it's like I'm always constantly vacuuming and like a clean rug, you know, and if we get have a rug it can't be shaggy like that i know that was the in style back then but oh no no <laughs> not anymore <laughs> no no <laughs> yeah so um i have to do that um the one that that just broke last night that came from walmart that was a few years old and that was a cheap one it was only 50 dollars um i looked online and they have one for like for around 30 and that's all we need is a cheap one because we just have carpet in our bedroom and the carpet downstairs by the couch and and a toy room so like three different carpets um that's all i need i don't need a big fancy one i don't, I don't and i don't want to spend a lot of money so i have to do that i'm not sure i'm going to do it today or what or tomorrow or you know but i gotta do it soon because the rug because like i said half of it's clean half of it's dirty and it's like i don't want to go to the other half that's dirty and i know i'm staying away from that so i probably will go today because i want to get it clean well but i didn't want to make an extra stop to walmart no um, we need a fan too. You too? Oh my goodness, okay. Kissy wants a fan, he says. Kissy wants a fan. Oh god, well that's 20 bucks. Kissy wants want his own fan. His own fan. They sleep with their own fan at night, even in the winter, because they get hot. So, so do I. I don't. Yeah, yeah, it really doesn't. I've always done, I've always slept with a fan. Oh, it's the noise, it helps me fall asleep. Mm before i forget all right i forgot to show you in yesterday's vlog the boys halloween cards for my friend miranda here's one boo and it says hope your halloween is simply spooky and this one very cute have a hauntingly happy halloween yeah isn't it cute homework has like the best cards like honestly the company homework i know like they have always the best cards that's why i like going to like um dollarama and i don't know if dollar tree has homework cards i know dollarama does so yeah they were so happy to get that meal i, I i'm like i'm not observant you know, especially when vlogging you know i could be looking somewhere else you know and like i totally did not see the money fall out of the card and it's like, oh, there it is when I, when I rewatch the vlog. It's like, oh, wow, I'm really observant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he was um, really happy. Both of them were. And um, I'm not, I don't think they said what they want to do. Maybe we'll take him to um, Dollarama or if they want to save it. You know, we'll see. Yes, you want to come say hi too? Yes, I, we have to go grocery shopping. You need more kitty food. Yeah. Hey guys, say good morning. Happy Friday. Woohoo. <laughs> Alright, so I hope everyone has a wonderful Friday. I'm going to have something to eat, finish my coffee, and get those groceries, go to Walmart, get a vacuum, and hopefully that's it. Yes. <laughs> Try to avoid the Christmas area. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Burr, it's a little chilly out here. <laughs> Might help. If I open the door first. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Thank goodness it's Friday. Alright, so we're going to head off to Walmart. Look for a vacuum. And maybe a couple extra things. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, and maybe head to Dollar Tree and Dollar Rainbow. Just take our time and eventually get groceries. <sighs> Alright. Um... Yeah, it is cool. Alright, I got the bags. 
And I have my mask. <laughs> I won't forget it this time. Yes, yeah, it's right, right here. Oh, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, okay, I think that's everything. Let's kind of buckle up. Do that. And uh, off to Walmart we go. Yeah. Oh, I need creamer too, so I'm, I'm going to get at Walmart because sometimes no frills does not have my flavor. I am hoping they have the peppermint flavor, so mm, fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, first stop is actually going to be Dollar Tree because it's easier if I go to Dollar Tree than to Walmart and then Dollarama. It's just easier, um, but there is a truck behind me. <laughs> As you can see, they're delivering the bread, so it was easy to pull up in front of Dollar Tree, so hopefully when I'm done, I'll probably just take my time, um, it's because hopefully when I'm done, the truck won't be behind me. <laughs> uh, I might be able to get out if I go that way, yeah. All right, so uh, let's see what we find. Some more stuff out. Not too much though. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're cute. Got all that stuff on there. <laughs> mm, but I found hot chocolate mm -hmm. and coffee latte. Mm. Good find. All right, all done with Dollar Tree. <laughs> Uh, next up will be Walmart, and there's no truck behind me. Ooh. Well, there is one, but there's lots of space. That one's not as close. <laughs> that one is the bread coming in. But I don't need any more bread. <laughs> My um, freezer is stocked with bread. Yeah, <laughs> I'm well stocked with bread for probably a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, so um, let's go to Walmart. That's the next stop. to see that.
hundred. I don't know how many we have. I really don't. I don't like those ones. Let's see. Twenty-five. I think we have more than twenty-five. So let's go with this one. Well, Walmart, oh, I am so happy I came. Walmart saw me coming. <laughs> uh, I did get one Christmas gift, so oh, I'm so excited to show you what I got. I got everything that was on my wish list, you know, that I missed out before. And as soon as I saw it, oh boy, did I run over there <laughs> and grabbed it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and I was busy in there. Uh, my fun little grabbed us now. It's gonna be gone. <laughs> um, oh, we still have to take the boys there to pick out their Hallmark ornaments, which Walmart has out. I took a quick look through them and I figured if I saw Baby Yoda, I was gonna grab it right away. But unfortunately, I did not see Baby Yoda. I saw regular old Yoda, but I know he's gonna really, really want Henry. Um, that is really really want baby yoda so i'm hoping i can still find him even if i have to go to hallmark store in um windsor in the mall so yes <laughs> they had every single other one and i'm like oh i really want to get him baby yoda yes oh they had the the mandalorian <laughs> um but no he wants baby yoda so well, i know well i know he would want it because it's henry he has bb8 he has chewbacca um I think actually he has two different Chewbacca's and yeah I think that's it he has three Star Wars but I know he's gonna want Baby Yoda so if not he could pick another one they had um R2-D2 or he might just pick older you know um older Yoda and, and they had Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper so uh, but I always like to have them pick it out, but I just thought if I saw it, I would grab it. So, but you know, they might get it back in because I did get other stuff back in that I was hoping they would get it and they got it. So yeah, I'm happy. Let's go Dollarama. <laughs> Let's hit up those Christmas aisles. <laughs>
Dollar Rama is done. Now I'm at no frills, so we're gonna get everything we need. Find my mask and my grocery list, um, which is somewhere in my purse. <laughs> uh, did pretty good at Dollar Rama. Uh, didn't spend. I actually thought it was gonna come up um, more the total, but it didn't. So that's always good. And um. They were still putting up stuff, so it was hard to look at everything because they had stuff kind of in the way, you know, to the side, and there there was a girl putting up stuff, so that just means I have to go back, right? <laughs> That's right. And I'm doing all this today because tomorrow is Halloween and we are going to be busy, and I want to get everything done, you know, because if I don't grab stuff now, like I said, it's going to go poof disappear yes and i'm so happy i got what I, everything i've really just really happy I, I i would put this in the successful category for shopping yes all right let's go get the not so fun part of shopping <laughs> at least for me groceries and um yeah we will uh, fill up the cupboards in the fridge and i have to be quick because my mom and dad are going to be coming over and she wants to Go to Walmart with me, even though I was just there, <laughs> to um, look for presents for the boys. So um, let's hurry up. Time to bring all the loot in. Got a car full. <laughs> I packed up the car pretty good. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, you coming out for some fresh air? Yeah, okay. All right, guys, I made it back home in one piece. Oh my goodness, no frills was crazy. The lineup to check out was all the way to the freezer section. So I don't know, people are just getting it done a day earlier because tomorrow is Halloween. Uh, that could be it because it felt like it was Christmas Eve Eve. You know, everybody doing their last minute shopping. It felt crazy. Um, so I made it back home. Let's do a quick haul. Now I went all over the place. I went to Dollar Tree, Dollar Rama, and Walmart. Um, those are going to, that's going to be in a separate haul because I got a lot of stuff. Um, I am so happy with what I found. <laughs> I mean, whew, I'm having a good day. <laughs> um, so I'm happy with everything I found. I can't wait to show you. But that's going to be in a separate haul because it, um, Otherwise, this vlog would be way, way too long and never ending. <laughs> mm. So let's get to it. Um, milk, four forty nine. dollars Grabbed two bags. Um, they had eggs. A 30-pack, medium size for five bucks. Really good deal. And they had the boys' apple juice, the, the um, juice boxes. Is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> um, it went up in price. It was always three ninety seven. I, I think three ninety seven. Ever since I started buying it, since I started school, so it's been three ninety seven for a long time. Well, it went up three cents. It's now four dollars. I mean, it's still a good deal because you get twenty one. But come on, why are we raising prices, people? Oh, and, and that wasn't the only thing they raised a the price on. <laughs> All right, so $4, it's still a good price, but I don't like it when something I bought all the time goes up in price, no. All right, so <laughs> drives me nuts. Um, vegetable oil was on sale, the two liter one for $2, so I grabbed two of those. And then I also grabbed apple juice for the boys for at home, $1.27, because if they drink the apple juice boxes so that's why like these are for school because if they drink them at home too these will be gone you know and it's like yeah no <laughs> at four dollars and it's like yeah no that's for school because this will last me about two weeks yeah okay let me make some room and be right back all right now for the frozen stuff vanilla ice cream chapman 397 doing a halloween drink with a fanta drink tomorrow for the boys um, frozen diced onions, $2. Ooh, you can smell that. Uh, $4.67 for hot dogs. Chicken balls were a dollar off. 
$11.97. They had their beef on sale. The small packs for $2. So I grabbed two. I like having these because if we have something and I know the boys are not going to eat it. Um, this is like a perfect size just for the two of them for tacos. Because you know Henry loves his tacos. And they also had pork chops on sale. Um, Five oh nine. I forget what they were. Pound a dollar seventy seven a pound. Really good price. So I just picked up one package because I still have two in the freezer. But at that price, that's too hard to pass up. Yeah. All right. Um, the only thing I couldn't find was the big sack, ten pound bag of white potatoes, because they were on sale for one dollar. <laughs> yeah. So um. They had a big skid and it was empty. <laughs> so um, that might be something I will go back for later on in the week. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Yeah, so that's the only thing I couldn't find. Um, the bag of apples, $4.97. I was gonna get the no name ones, but those were $5.97 and I saw these ones and they're a dollar cheaper, so I grabbed them. Yep. And then the sweet potatoes, $3.97. So even if we don't have, or I don't find the 10 pound bag of yellow or white potatoes, um, I think they're white potatoes. <laughs> um, we have these and um, I wanna try and make uh, a sweet potato fries with these. Yeah. Okay. All right, next up, um, a salad mix, uh, field greens. It was 50% off, so $1.98. Um, so that's enough for a couple salads for myself and Aurelian. Uh, fruit on the bottom, 77 cents each. Just picked up four, still have a couple in the fridge. And then I picked up um, yogurt. It was $4.97. I forget how much you saved, but it was a little bit. So you get six strawberry rhubarb and six strawberry raspberry, and it's 35% plus sugar. So I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, ego, ego, I, I don't know. Why, why does yogurt have to have a hard name? <laughs> like, I don't know, yeah, ego. Anyways, I'm probably butchering it. I want to say um, Frankenstein's helper, <laughs> Igor. <laughs> That's what I want to say, right? It's like Igor, you put an R at the end, it's Igor. Okay, moving on. <laughs> All right, another thing I couldn't find. Tomorrow we are doing ghost pita pizzas for Halloween. I could not find, they were sold out of the no name. Um, Pineapple, crushed pineapple. Like, here we go again. When this, the beginning of this craziness started, um, that was one thing you couldn't find was pineapple. You know, pineapple Timbits, crushed pineapple. Oh, my mom's calling. See, I told you she'd be calling. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, I am back. <laughs> See, I told you. Yep, she, uh, she would call while I'm um, doing my haul. Um, they are going to stop by about two o'clock. Because uh, my dad is going to help with the windowsill and um, we, my mom and myself are going to go back to Walmart. Well, I'm going to go back to Walmart and look for a present for the boys. So, yeah. All right. So let's finish up because I still have to have lunch and it's 119. All right. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> um, pineapple. It was the no name. There was none in it. None. Like no pineapple tin, but a crushed pineapple or pineapple rings, it was all sold out. So I picked up the Dole, even the Dole was slim pickings. It was $2 though, so I picked up two cans because we are doing ghost pita pizzas tomorrow for Halloween dinner. Um, they had a Tim Bits, like we like the crushed pineapple because we find it sweeter. Um, so I figured I'll get the chunks and just cut them up. You know, yeah. Um, orange juice. They still didn't have our brand, the Oasis, so I picked up Minute Maid, $1.97. It was just cheaper to pick up two of those than uh, a brand name. And then Primo, I got two. I'm going to do chili. I forget how much. I think I always pick, um, usually I pick like the cheapest. Because I need, I think I need two. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I do. Um, let me see. Oh, here we go. $1.87. 
And this is the other thing that went up. The no name um, beans. Um, I got, I always get the maple. So good. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> um, of wheat, because I'm making chili and we do not like candy beans. We just ugh, don't like them. So I always put the, you know, beans in there. These kind of beans in them. Um, so I got two. They are dollar and seven cents. Um, they used to be 87 cents, um, uh, for the longest time, and I think they went up to, like, 97 cents, and now they're a dollar seven. So I'm like, seriously, like, why? <laughs> like, I get it, because of everything going on, yeah, I get it, but, you know, still, it's frustrating, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put the orange juice in the fridge before it melts. Actually, I'm gonna leave one in the fridge. Alright, I just put the pineapple away. I do have one crushed pineapple in the cupboard so yay <laughs> I guess I should have looked in the cupboard first I never do though before I go shopping uh, sometimes I do if I remember <laughs> um, but okay well that's good pineapple is always good to have on hand mm. all right cinnamon raisin bagels no name a dollar again so I'm gonna keep one out put one in the freezer um mandarins $3.97 Bananas, which came to just over a dollar. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Dollar twenty six. <sighs> okay. Look. Okay. Almost done. Almost. I'm at the finish line. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Bear paws. Chocolate chip. Two dollar. And then when I was checking out, when I was waiting, in, I was waiting in line. I noticed they had the spooky one, so I picked up two of those because they're just seasonal and they're going to be gone pretty soon. Um, I wonder if those were still dollar eighty-eight because they were last week. Do do do. I just grabbed them. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh wait, no, they were $2. Oh, last week they were $1.88. Oh, well, that's okay. They'll like that. And the boys really liked these new dips, the cookies and cream, so I picked up two, $1.88. And two cat food for Lois, salmon, 97 cents. All right, and we're going to have movie night because tomorrow is Halloween and their candy was on sale. So we're going to have movie night, probably tonight, make up some popcorn. You know, hopefully we do it tonight, if not tomorrow night. Um, yeah, tomorrow, we're, we got, tomorrow's going to be busy. Hey, we could have movie night tonight and tomorrow night. Why not, right? Um, so I got Sour Patch Kids. I didn't have the regular ones, but I think I bought these before and the kids like them. It's the Crush. So you get the... Um, grape and the orange and the pineapple and the strawberry and then Skittles two dollars so switching it up <laughs> gotta hide those <laughs> all right butter was on sale I just got a small one I think it was two something um do 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 two ninety seven and then dollar ninety seven for sour cream Okay, now it's just the rest of the snacks. <laughs> uh, I picked up something different, the President's Choice Chocolate Crunchy C C Cubs. It's pretty much the gram, you know, the Teddy Grams, um, but PC version, and it, it comes in six different packages. So, uh, but they were two twenty-seven. I just I'm trying to switch it up because I forgot to get um because they wanted the chocolate chip one at walmart and since i'm going back there i might pick it pick pick up the chocolate chip if walmart has it um teddy grams so but i figured this would be different for them okay i'm almost done um tim horton bars two dollars it's my favorite favorite love it apple fritter um carnation hot chocolate was on sale so $2, so I picked up the one with the marshmallows. Um, 
they did have the pack, the variety pack that was all sold out. So I might go back and see if they are restocked for it later next week. Uh, but every year I do a hot chocolate bar. So um, I like having different hot chocolates for everybody to choose from. And then I got the, I haven't bought these in a while. They are $4.47. I wish they would go on sale. But I'm the only one that eats some. The cashew bars, these are really, really, really good. Um, you get uh, two in each um yeah, in each pouch you get two, and sometimes I only eat one. So yeah, that, I love the honey oat oat flax. So four forty seven, but sometimes they do go on sale. Um, I don't think they have recently, but I'm the only one that eats some. So, and last but not least, these were brand new, and I want they are more than I would like to pay pay for um, a cracker snack i guess um president's choice sweet potato uh, veggie snack um uh, they were 4.99 but i'm probably the only one going to eat them so if i'm the only one going to eat them i don't mind spending that much money because this won't be gone in one day <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> some snacks if more than one of us eat it it's like poof gone so they also had beets um i don't know if i would like the beets and they had the veggie i, I was thinking like oh i should have grabbed the veggie too because i can do a taste test and i might go back and grab the veggie and do that yeah um vegetable one i mean like they had the vegetable yeah so um yeah i'm gonna try this out and i'll let you guys know i'll, I'll probably do a video and see what it, they taste like yeah um yeah you only get 100 it's only 180 grams but you know uh, they look good and it's hard to find healthy snacks and that's the thing with healthy snacks is that because they're healthy they charge you an arm and a leg but i'm the only one that will eat them so that's okay all right so that is it for this grocery haul from no frills i only spent 133 dollars and 44 cents there's only a couple things i have to find that they didn't really have like cucumbers so um yeah I might go to Sobeys for that. Oh, and they didn't have toaster strudel. Toaster strudel was on sale for two dollars, and they didn't have any of that. They didn't have any strawberries. So, yeah, I know. So I'll probably have to go back to those things. All right, I'm going to have lunch, and I'm going to put everything away. I am. I'm a busy little beaver this morning. <laughs> all right. Well, after all the shopping, it's time to have some Subway for lunch. Um, yum. <laughs> I haven't had Subway in a long time, so I really left to go get some while I was doing the haul. And I got the chicken ranch melts. Mmm, looks so good. Smells good. Mmm. 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 That's good. I like the wrap. Mmm. -hmm. All right, I'm going to get this, and um, I'll be back. Well, um, it is about going on, let's see, 420. <laughs> it feels like it's much, much, much later. Hi. <laughs> Boys are home. Um, I went to Walmart with my mom to look for Christmas presents for the boys. Um, and boy, was it even 10? It was 10 times crazier than when I went this morning crazy it was busy um <laughs> we didn't really find anything at walmart and the only thing that she got was the <laughs> i'm a bad influence <laughs> oh because the only, the only thing that she got was because um because they they came when i was finishing up doing the haul and um i showed my my dad because he likes like creamer sometimes and I showed him the Buddy the Elf one, the Peppermint Mocha one, and and um, so that that's the only thing that she grabbed at Walmart. So yeah, um, I don't think they're gonna be there for because like if Walmart was busy as it was like right now, this weekend it's gonna be super crazy. So I don't think, you know, those are gonna last past the weekend. So um, she grabbed one of those, and that was like the only thing that she bought because there wasn't really anything in the toy section for the boys. Um. That I saw, I got, I was there earlier, but I didn't really take a good, good, you know, really good look. 
So, and it was crazy. Um, she, she went through the self-checkout. I helped her with that because the other cash registers, they were lined up too long. Um, the self-checkout was even, like, lined up long. Uh, we didn't have to wait too long. And it, but the line kept getting longer and longer. It was, like, crazy. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Everybody's at Walmart at the same time. So, um, so that was all she got. <laughs> and then we went to Canadian Tire across the street. And that's why I love Canadian Tire. I love their toys because when I was there, I think it was last week. And it was last week, right? Yeah, I think it was last week. And I took a look at the toys, and they still had a couple of the toys that I thought the boys would enjoy. So she got them their Christmas gifts at <laughs> at uh, Canadian Tire. Casey's like looking at me. It's like, oh, you know what I got for Christmas? <laughs> I uh, not. Plus, she got oh, she got not. new um, pots of pants. You. Someone's here. Oh, are really in? Somebody's here. Oh, where'd you put it? Where'd you put it? <laughs> Is that the door? You uh, sold something. Where'd I put it? Hang on. Front porch, I think. Just answer the door. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> he sold um, something, a paper towel. Look, look. Yeah. Oh, a bouncy ball. Ooh, we got that from your teacher? Yeah. Yeah. You notice those paper towel holders you see in restrooms? He found it at a thrift store in Leamington, I think in January. I think it was the last time he went thrifting before all this craziness started. He bought it for like, I was really cheap. Maybe like five bucks and he just sold it for 15. So, perfect. Cash in my hands. <laughs> so like Mr. Krabs, money, 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 money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, no, I'm poor. All the money goes to me now. <laughs> yeah, all the money goes to me. Um, where was I? <laughs> I have to end this vlog, which is what I'm trying to do. Um, oh yeah, can I tire? Um, she needed pots and pans, and she got really, really nice ones. Um, Master Chef, and eleven piece, nonstick, and they were a hundred dollars, but they were regular four hundred dollars. So great savings, and. Like, she was going to wait until they move because they're planning on moving. Um, probably won't happen to next year. But she's going to keep the box. And when they move, she'll put the pots and pans in the box. I'm like, that's a good idea. So she's been keeping, like, boxes when she buys stuff. So when they move, she has a box to put in it. Yeah. Yeah, because she, she was going to wait till she moved. But I was like, well, why wait? Because they're on sale. And that's a really good deal. So... She got those and, and, and my dad, when I came home, my dad, my dad was like, <laughs> like, oh, he was like, you're a, he's like, you're a bad influence. I like, you were supposed to keep her under control. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it was, uh, like, we were probably gone for, I would say, like 30 minutes. It was good. So it was fun and Canadian Tire was busy too. Canadian Tire, we go online at the right time because when people start lining up and that line started to grow so long. So everywhere we went was super crazy. And yeah, so then uh, we went to Tim Hortons, made a Tim Hortons run. Uh, got a coffee for myself and my dad and an ice cap for Erlian and Timbits for the boys. So yeah, nice little um, <laughs> Friday evening, because it was, like, by the time we came, came home at 4 o'clock, you know, um, afternoon slash evening, you know, pick me up her, because it's, like, after all this shopping, it's, like, yeah, I need, I need a second cup of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> and I still have stuff to put away. <laughs> it's, like, all the freezer and fridge stuff is put away, but it's, like, all the stuff that has to go in the cupboards and the stuff that I got a dollar train, dollar in my Walmart that has to be put away, so I will eventually get to that. <laughs> so I did do a separate haul, so, um, I'm gonna put that up tonight, so if you haven't seen it yet, check, go check it out. Um, uh, yeah, because I'm just getting everything done, and I think next week I'm going to... Um, get the boy finish the boys Christmas shopping. Um, make kind of like come to you know look at my list and see what I have and make a list of what I want to get and you know and that's it and yeah just get it all done yeah uh yeah because Walmart didn't have what I needed so I might just end up ordering online and do it that way you know um yeah so yeah because i want to finish shopping for them soon they're half halfway done i just have to grab a few more things so 
Anyways, I have to end this vlog because it's, it's already too long. <laughs> Yay for you! <laughs> uh, yeah, so we still have to find something to eat. So I think we're just going to do that, wind up for tonight, watch maybe a movie, maybe a Halloween movie and we'll have movie nights and have our treats, our popcorn or, or chips, you know, we'll see. Uh, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow morning for Halloween yeah. and happy Halloween! Because by the time you watch this, it'll be Halloween, yeah. so happy Halloween! Yeah. yeah. I like all the days when it always when it get me. Do you like all the holidays? Yeah. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Halloween. Halloween. It get me. And Christmas. Christmas. And what the other one? Get get in the Easter. Easter. No. Your birthday? <laughs> That's a holiday, right? <laughs> no. No. It's for mommy's birthday. <laughs> but what the what? Valentine's. Valentine. Yeah. I like my, Thanksgiving. All I did it at my wedding. Yeah, all, all the holidays are your favorite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. I hope you have a fun Halloween. I know this year is really different and really, you know, um, um, just, you know, it was like somebody threw a curveball at us, you know, and but, you know, we just make the best out of it and we'll still have fun. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day tomorrow celebrating in your own little way for Halloween. And, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow morning with coffee. And I want to say goodbye. Bye, <laughs> bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Am I a puppet? <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow morning. Take care, be blessed, be kind. And, yeah, that's it. Happy Halloween.